this. Take care of yourself. I'm in need of a strong set of legs, Traveler. And you look like one capable of protecting yourself. Will you aid an old Mur in one last task? I have an obligation to my family. No, a duty of utmost importance. But I have grown too feeble to fulfill it. If you would take this memory stone to the few places of significance in my life, I will pay you well. It allows one to archive memories for future generations. I hope to do this for my children, who have grown estranged. Invoke my stone at the locations I've marked on your map, and the memories I wish to archive will manifest. I thank you for your aid. Fewer than ever are willing to aid their elders in these troubled times. Now I suppose the distance with my children is my fault, not theirs. Ah yes, Mills. My son has never really forgiven me for never being here for them. He's a stranger in my own home. No, if anything it's the other way around. Even Naria has grown accustomed to my absence. Naria less than Mills, but both my children grew up largely on their own. My duties to Master Drenim consumed a great deal of my time. You'll know soon enough, as will they, I hope. I fail them as a father, but they are safe, aren't they? I kept them safe. Look, a Dwemer gear. It's in remarkably good condition. Yes, wonderful. I'll mark it down. And here, another. All these have fallen off the ruins. Yes, uh, that is peculiar. Is something the matter, dear? You seem distracted today. Oh, oh nothing's the matter. I'm just... I'm nervous. Whatever for. If anything attacks us, I'll protect you. I'm not nervous about an attack, Bravora. It's just... Well... There's no good way to say this. To say what? Marry me. Are you serious? That's... Not the response I hoped for. Gilan, of course I'll marry you. I, I love you. I just... Expected something more dramatic. Well, I planned to propose at the falls, but today we didn't go to the falls. I, I had to improvise. And this is why you've been so nervous. Yes. Wait. Did you just agree to marry me? Yes, Gilon. A dozen times yes. My dear, distracted, adorable archivist, I will marry you. That's wonderful! Isn't it? Oh, Bravora, you won't regret this. You are the stars to my sky. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Well, um, no. I've been saving it for the right time.
It could be years, decades. Even. I suppose the view is inspiring. It certainly is. Flatterer, you can see this view anywhere now, can't you? And yet I never grow tired of looking. Speaking of looking, we should start viewing larger homes. What's wrong with our current home? Well, it's rather small, isn't it? <laughs> it's cozy. Just enough room for you and me. And you don't see how that could become a problem? I, um... Uh, no? Well, you've done a lot more than look since we married, dear. At houses? Wait, Bravora? Yes. You're pregnant? <laughs> that happens when one enjoys the view, doesn't it? That's wonderful! I'm going to be a father! Yes, dear. Yes, you are. We need a new house with a real kitchen and a second bedroom. Perhaps even three bedrooms? Uh, one step at a time, dear. Open your eyes. Please, open your eyes. Are they gone? Yes. You fought them off. Oh, good. Dying for nothing would have been embarrassing. You're not going to die. I won't allow it. That's ambitious of you. I can mend more than a scrape knee. You'll see. Just don't move. That feels better. I told you. You're still bleeding. Just a little more. I can save you. I will save you. Take care of the children. For me. Promise. We'll take care of them together. Promise me. I will, I promise. But keep your eyes open. I wish I could. Bravora! You've made these years so wonderful. Bravora! Bravora! She did not complete it. But she died. And now the crystals she was to procure for me have been acquired by my rival. I... I've lost the mother of my children. Your failings are not my problem. We don't have enough money to pay you back. Then we will sell your house. We can't do that. Master, please. My, my children... May purchase their own dwelling with their own money. Nary's only just turned eight. And Mills... You would offer an alternative? What can I offer you? I understand you have some aptitude for magic. You will serve me. The children will remain in your home so long as you do not violate our contract. But who will raise them? When will I see them? You will see them when I don't need you. Or would you rather see them in the street? No, of course not. Thank you, Master Drenum. I will serve you. You sign your contract today.
you able to recover my memories? It's important they understand. No, no, thank you. You've recovered everything I need to explain. Well, to talk with my children. I'm not sure my heart can endure any more of this. It feels like losing her all over again. Please, could you do this old man one last favor? Ask my children to come visit me. I feel like I can finally leave them with the answers I've never been able to provide. Tell Neria we need to talk about her mother. As for Mills, if he hesitates, tell him it's about the estate, his inheritance. Neria works at the stables. She's always been good with Guar, something she inherited from her mother. Mills will likely be fishing on the canal for dinner. He's always kept them both fed. I'm so proud of both of them. I wish they understood. Yes. Do I know you? I'm trying to fish. I have nothing to say to that man. What is it about I don't want to talk about my father that you can't understand? I don't want his money any more than I want his apologies. Does that man really think he can buy me off after ignoring me my entire life? Leave me alone. If father needs someone to listen to his excuses, ask Neria to do it. Or perhaps you should stop butting into our personal affairs. Have you considered that? I have nothing else to say to you. Good day. like a well-traveled individual. If you're looking to give your mount a well-deserved rest, you've come to the right place. We know how to pamper a loyal guar in Balmara. My mother? Father rarely mentions her. I can tell how painful it is for him to recall her, even after all these years. I was young when she passed, but my memories are pleasant. Did he say what this is about? What did he have you doing? How odd. Father always was dabbling in magic. Often it seemed like he had time for little else, though I know he did it to take care of us. Still, I'd better check up on him. I imagine Mills wants nothing to do with this. I'll ensure he joins us. Just disappointing last. me one last time. Good riddance. If only I'd come sooner. Thank you. We all knew this was coming. That doesn't make it any easier to bear. My father was a good man, even if Mills never got to see it. Why was he so obsessed with that stone? You said he had you store his memories inside it? I'm almost afraid to do so. What couldn't he just say to us all this time? Still, these were his last wishes. Thank you for making that possible. What? A ghost? 
Naria. Mills. I so regret not being that as you grew up. What I could never tell you is why my life was not my own. Shh, Mills. I think this is a memory. Soon, I'll be able to share the truth with you. To share everything with you. Thanks to the efforts of this kind traveler, I have archived my memories on this stone. I hope one day you will find it in your hearts to forgive me and find the father and mother you never had. Here, I love you. I have always loved you. You've both made me so proud. Father. Why? Why couldn't you just fade away like you always do? Why couldn't you just let me forget you? Because it's not just about him, Mills, or you. It's about all of us, our family, together at last. Father and mother are finally with us. Their memories will live on. 